G'day folks, it's Patrick here. Well, I couldn't be more excited because I'm standing outside of USA Foods in Moorabbin, Victoria, Australia, folks. And I'm about to go inside and check out this joint, see what they've got on offer, and, uh, well, buy a few products and try them out. Let's go. Well, folks, this is the USA joint, and as you can see here, plenty of, uh, of, st of things to look at here and to purchase at inflated prices, may I say. Um, so I didn't end up getting very much, but I've got a few things, um, which I'll show you in a minute. And this joint was chockers full of people too, folks. The music was blaring loud, so I had to turn the sound off and put some of my own background music on there folks but that's all right as you can see uh well a thriving little business down here in Moorabbin Okay, now I'm back in the crib, folks. And uh, here's one of the things I decided to get is this Zatarain Dirty Rice. Uh, I've done a few dirty rice videos before, but uh, I think I tried the uh, Louisiana Fish Fry products uh, packet mix version of this, and it was really good. So I thought I'll try this and see what this is like, eh? Now it's got all the directions there. It's very, very easy. And it says you can chuck whatever you want in there. So, uh, I'm going to chuck in a bit of, uh, well, apart from the packet ingredients, I'm going to use a bit of this uh, lamb here. Uh, it was on special, about to be thrown out or gone off or whatever, so I grabbed it. So I'll use lamb, lamb mince, and then uh, I'm going to chuck in a tin of corn, because I like corn and I haven't had it in a while, and I figure that'll go all right with it. So let's boil all this up and see what it turns into. Folks, time to try this dirty rice with the uh, the corn in it. Let's see if it's um, if it's any good. There's a bit of spice, a bit of flavour in there, but honestly, not much. It's quite bland. I think it needs a bit of salt. That's better. Well, overall, I've got to say I'm not rating this Zatarain's dirty rice very highly, folks. Out of 10, I'd give it a five. I think the other one I tried, the uh, Louisiana fish fry products one, was much better. That was a long time ago. But anyway, now for the secret recipe. <laughs> Now 
Ah, I love these secret recipes, folks, because uh, to be quite honest with you, the whole thing was a secret to me until about five seconds before I came up with this. So I've grabbed some, a bit of pita bread here, and uh, well, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm chucking, so I'm trying to do a <laughs> my, my poor impression of a Tex-Mex type burrito thing. I even had some um, rotisserie chicken there before that you might have seen I chucked on there as well. So uh, I'm wrapping it up in the foil. As you can see, we're gonna bake it in the oven, chop it up and see what it's like. Well, here it is, folks. This burrito thing, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I'm gonna try it now. And let's see what this is like with all this dirty rice and other things in it, as you can see, the, just peel the foil back a bit. All of my friends say, girl, you better take care. Cause that man is trouble, you best beware. And though it down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. Well, it's okay, folks. It's okay. But like the dirty rice itself. It was a bit bland. I think this would have been better if I just fried up some meat in the pan and chucked some taco seasoning in it, folks. And um, don't worry about that dirty rice stuff. It's okay. It just needs more flavor. I've been looking for love so true. When I was down and down along came you. Though you might be alive. things in it as you can see the just peel the foil back a bit because I don't fancy um, eating that so just bear with me while I do this and of course as soon as you turn the camera on it all gets stuck doesn't it? Here we go. 